So you have a friend, family member, or employee that wants access to your Amazon Seller Central account. Maybe they wanna help you with Amazon advertising or optimizing your listing. Well, don't give them admin access. Give them user permissions. So that way, if your relationship goes dry, you can change their user permissions and kick them off of Amazon without them messing up your account. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to give somebody access to your user permissions on your account and that way you can control how much access they have to your account. I'm Josh Hackett, founder of EHP Consulting Group. We're a multi-million dollar Amazon consulting firm that helps sellers like you succeed on Amazon. Let's dive into today's video. Okay, so the first thing that you need to know is you need to have user permission. So to get user permissions, you need a professional Amazon Seller Central account. To do that, you wanna double check, you wanna log in your desktop, go to account info, and then just make sure if you're in amazon.com in the US, it, wants, it has to say professional. If it doesn't say that, you won't be able to give user permissions to your team. You're gonna to have to upgrade to a professional account. If you give somebody access to your admin account, there's a chance that it could get suspended if they already have another Seller Central account or their friend does. So user permissions is the safest way. And you just go here, you go to user permissions, and then bada bing, you go right here. You're gonna put their name. Sometimes I just use their shortened name, right? So my name's Josh. So I can just put Josh and then EHP, maybe what company they're with. And then you can put their email address right here. Let me get an email address. And then you click invite. After that, you wait for them to accept the email uh, acceptance. And you're gonna see something like this. They're gonna say, oh, you've been invited to become an authorized user. And that way they can click on this and they're gonna copy this and then they're going to have to create their own Amazon seller or Amazon account. And it's just gonna ask them some basic information, their email, verify their phone number, right? So nobody can hack into their account. So once you give them access, they need to message you. First things first is this expires in 14 days. So they only have 14 days to accept it. Sometimes it goes to spam. So you have to notify them right when you send it. Be like, hey, check your spam. I sent the notification for you to have access to the Seller Central account. After they accept it and they sign up, you're gonna refresh this page and then you're going to click Manage Permissions. Now, if it doesn't say delete, this one doesn't say delete, that means that this is the admin account. You can't delete this, this is your login. You should always log into this one if you're the admin. All these other ones you can delete, these are user permissions. So you can go to manage permissions right here and you can give them admin permissions, view and edit, view or no permissions, right? So if they're only managing your Amazon ads, then you should only give them probably view and edit permissions of all of the advertising tabs. If they're managing your entire account, you're gonna have to give a lot of admin permissions. Now there's lending, pay, growth, inventory, media upload, right, if they're doing, if they're updating your images, you're gonna want them to be able to do that, right, not just view it. Looking at your orders, performance notifications, right, if they're making sure that your account's okay, it's in good health, they're gonna need to see your performance notifications. Now, the only one that you might not want to give access to are the settings. You don't want them to change your business insurance. Usually nobody would ever do that. You are going to want them to manage your cases. So if you want them to reach out to Amazon, call Amazon, that's going to be in settings, uh, messaging your customers. Now, seller configuration. This is if they can uh, upgrade you to a professional or remove you from a professional. So you might not wanna give them access to this one. Here, I'll put this one, seller configuration. You might not want them to see your taxes. You most likely will not want them to give other people user permissions. So imagine if someone gets on your account 
and you're making a million dollars a year. You don't want them to get your their friends. Yo, check this out. Here's user permissions. Check out their account and let them on this. See, it says warning. All of the other ones, let's see. So seller configuration, tax settings, user permissions, and of course your bank account, which is, let me just do control F. It's probably under settings. You can also do loan registration. You probably don't want them to have that. So just go through this and see which ones you don't want them to have access to. If you trust them, they can't actually change your bank account. They can't actually change your credit card unless they know it. So it's okay if they can see that. The only thing I would say is making sure they can't give other user people user permissions because then you make them a super user. So this is probably the biggest one because everything else, if they invite like 40 people on your account, it's gonna be a pain going back in and deleting them all. So just be aware of this, but this is the best. Then you click continue. Let me just make this, this one is actually an admin user permission. So I'm gonna make them admin of everything. This is one account that I fully trust. Then you click continue. And then it's gonna show you what you change. So maybe, and Amazon adds to this. So this does change over time. Like revenue calculator, this was not here uh, six months ago. So this is brand new, Amazon just adds. Why would you not wanna give somebody access to a revenue calculator? Who knows? And then you click continue. I like to refresh it. Or let's say um, it already said, it already went through. I'm gonna go cancel. I'm gonna go back in and do it one more time. Sometimes it doesn't update. And if it doesn't update, then you need to go back and do it again. So I do, I do this one twice, you go through twice and just make sure that everything's updated. It doesn't say continue, so everything's updated on my end. Double check it and then you're good to go. They do not get notified so they don't get notified that you updated their permissions. So you, again, your friend, your independent contractor, your team member, you need to update them and say, hey, I updated your user permissions. Please log in, please refresh your page, log out, log back in. If you don't tell them that, then they won't know. Because right now when they log in, if, you, if they don't have user permissions, it's just a blank page. So you wanna make sure that you double check, uh, you let them know, let them know. And then you can also delete their user permissions, of course. Bada bing. So that's how you do it. If you need help selling on Amazon, feel free to contact EHP Consulting Group. We work with user permissions, Amazon advertising, infringement removal, advertising. Uh, we have also customer service, launching you on Etsy, everything in the middle. And if you like this video, please drop a like and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. Thank you so much.